Hey, it's Clay Trade, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol DCTH. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time frame. I think that's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And then just makes mapping out with levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Did this analysis on Friday, so that's where the green line annotation is coming from. And I'm not going to beat that dead horse. Uh, but, you know, just in short, I will say that this was a very, very important level of support as far as the overall chart is concerned. Again, if you're curious why that was so important, you can just go back and watch a video from Friday. Uh, but with that, this was a, a, an important day from a technical event for the Bears because they were not only finally able to press down through uh, this very important level of support, but even after they broke down through it, uh, you know, the price did continue to separate to the downside. So this brings about our first update, which comes from a foundational rule in charting, which states when levels of support are broken and closed blow, they do tend to act as resistance. So 10 and a half cents was that key level um, of support, but with the price now below at 10 and a half cents becomes that area and the near term level of resistance. Now, the one interesting factor here that uh, comes into play and I don't mean to hit this dead horse again, but let's just make sure each one of these candles represents 30 minutes. So you look right here and you can see that the final 30 minutes on the day, uh, the bulls really you know, showed some signs of life and uh, you know, had a nice solid green candle and this all happened on a, a good amount of volume. Now, does one candle all of a sudden change the entire chart? No, I'm not saying that. Uh, but you know, is this the start of something bigger? Well, at this point, it, that's a very valid, that's a very logical question to, to ask now. I mean, obviously it made no sense to ask, hey, is are the bulls you know, starting in something bigger on a red candle like that? Well, it was a red candle. Why would that have anything bullish or right there? Makes no sense in any of those situations. You know, it would make, make no sense to ask that question here. But now you're looking at this candle and it does make sense to ask the question that maybe the bulls are starting to turn things around. Now, are they? You know, a chart's not a crystal ball in that sense, but a chart is at least telling us now that it makes logical sense to be wondering that. And the first step in, you know, getting back to work and doing some work all revolves and circles back to that red line that we've talked about, getting the price not only back above 10 and a half cents, but then getting some closes that maintain up above it. So that'll definitely be the key level of resistance, like I said, going into tomorrow. So final 30 minutes, you gotta give full credit where credit's due. That was a quite a bullish session. Is this the start of something bigger? Well, the start and you know getting bigger would be uh, you know all revolved around up above that red line and maintaining above it. So we'll see what the bulls can do with it the remainder of the week, still three days left. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.